I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and this video we are going to feature the Precision T3500 workstation, and we are going to install an optional hard drive cage with fan. We are then going to install an H710 RAID controller with 4x480 gig, 6 gig per second solid state drives, and we are going to run a benchmark on them uh, to see how well they perform. We'll be adding this video to our Precision T3500 hardware upgrade playlist. So if you have a Precision T3500 and you're looking for other hardware upgrade ideas, uh, you'll want to check out our other videos on our channel. And as always, we will post a link to our Precision T3500 hardware upgrade guide in the description of this video. We're gonna start out by showing you our five and a quarter inch drive cage with fan. Now this would normally come with a blue plastic bracket to mount one three and a half inch drive, but we are not gonna use that bracket and we are going to just kind of stuff two two and a half inch solid state drives into the cage. So this is how you remove the side panel. There's a lever on the top of the chassis and you're just gonna push that to the right and the side panel should pop right open. To install the drive cage, we do have to remove the gray bezel and black plastic piece that covers the optical drive. So what you wanna do is pull up on the blue lever in the center of the chassis, push up on the gray bezel and it'll pop right off like we've shown you. Then to remove the black plastic piece, push down on the plastic bracket and that black plastic piece will come right off. So now we're ready to install the actual drive cage. We don't recommend you putting the system like we've done here. We did this to give you a better camera angle, but to avoid damaging the ports on the back, don't do it like this, lay it on its side. So basically grab your drive cage and drop the fan cable through and then line it up properly like so and you can push it right into place. Now we're ready to plug the fan from the new drive cage into the system board so we can provide power to it. And that power connection is located on the top center part of the motherboard, kind of right below the power supply. So we didn't have to enable anything in the BIOS to get the fan to work, it was plug and play. Next, we're going to install four 480 gig SATA 6 gig solid state drives. And we are gonna configure them in RAID 10 using an H710 RAID controller. This controller has five 12 meg cache on it and it has a battery backup. Now this RAID controller is actually made for some of the newer gen Dell servers and workstations. Um, so if you try to look for a driver, um, under the T3500 support page on Dell, you will not be able to find it. Thankfully, Windows 10 had the H710 driver built into it, so we had no problems installing Windows. To connect the drives to the array controller, we are using a SAS SFF8087 to SATA breakout cable. Now we're ready to actually install the H710 array controller. Ideally, you want to install the H710 RAID controller into the second PCIe X16 slot on the motherboard. Now, we can't do that because our slot is covered up by our 1660 Ti graphics card. So we are going to install the card on our PCIe X4 slot. If you choose to emulate this install and your secondary PCIe X16 slot is available, you should definitely install the H710 into that slot because you will get faster throughput. Now we are ready to plug our SAS cable into the SAS A port on the H710 RAID controller. We are finally ready to plug in and test our 4x480 gig solid state drives. Um, so we are going to basically kind of let them hang loose and plug them in to test them. And then after that, we will figure out how to mount them properly into the chassis.
Now we're going to turn the system on and enter the RAID utility by pressing Control R when prompted in post. Once you are in the RAID utility, you can arrow up to Perk H710 adapter. Then press F2 for operations. Then press Enter to create a new VD. We are going to select RAID 10 and then tab down to press spacebar to select each drive. Now we do need four drives minimum to run RAID 10. We picked RAID 10 because it is a performance RAID and we are looking for the maximum throughput possible for our 10 year old workstation. So we're gonna go ahead and name it RAID 10. Now that we've successfully created the RAID configuration, we're gonna go ahead and hit F2 on that RAID 10 config, and then we're gonna do a fast initialization on it. Okay, so now that we're gonna exit the utility, reboot the system, and verify that we have a virtual disk. So as you can see, uh, we have successfully created one virtual disk. Okay, so we installed Windows 10. And after we installed Windows 10, we downloaded a benchmark tool called Addo Disk Benchmark. So now we are running a disk benchmark to see the results that we get with our 4x480 gig solid state drives in a RAID 10 configuration. As you can see, the results are pretty good for a 10 year old workstation. Uh, the speeds are much faster than the standard 7.2K or SSD that would run at 350 meg to 500 meg. We were curious what the benchmark results would have been if we installed the H710 controller in the PCIe X16 slot. So what we did is we removed the GTX 1660 Ti graphics card opening up that secondary PCIe X16 slot. And then we ran the Addo Disk benchmark again. And as you can see, the results using the PCIe X16 slot were quite a bit faster. To finish the install, we had to figure out a way to fit the 2x480 gig SSDs that were floating into that new 5.25 inch drive cage. It took us a while, but we finally got them installed. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also comment below if you have any questions.